All right, Thursday afternoon. Um, Dr. Rand is on her way west to uh, see some doctors, and we're here all by ourselves. Will we ever survive without her? I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, <laughs> that was her sister laughing. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this, is a, this is a Cushing's patient. Um, for a while, actually, kind of a referral from another hospital up north. Um, some of those people I've been communicating with through Facebook and wildlife stuff and all the team. Um, anyway, uh, somehow she just felt more confident coming here, so she's driven down from Jackson, which is another three hour drive to have us try and diagnose what that is right there, okay? Um, it could be anything since we're looking at Cushing's from an adrenal tumor to a kidney tumor to spleen that's somehow stuck off to a, the unusual side. But uh, on the x-rays, I couldn't identify the spleen anywhere. Uh, so this is, uh, this is that do or die moment where we're going to exploratory and find out if we can actually pull this tumor out and if it's something we can live without. Uh, so that's why we're here now. Um, cross your fingers. Wish her luck because she is a sweetheart. Okay, this is a several year old female patient um, diagnosed with Cushing's. Uh, anyway, uh, we've noticed that we had a large mass on the side over here when the dog started losing some weight. Thought it was basically some ascites and Cushing's, but the uh, referring vet had uh, realized that it wasn't and for some strange reason decided not to do the surgery. Anyway, um, in the x-rays we could not see a splenic shadow, but obviously here in real life we can actually see a very large and relatively normal spleen. Uh, this mass right here is actually connected to the caudal edge of the liver here and It actually although I believe I could probably tie it off the bad news is we've got this tumor in here Which basically goes from here to here and I'm afraid it is the uh, the right kidney um, And I could if I could get it out far enough and I cannot because of so many adhesions I might be able to tie it off but at the same time since this is here already see the abdomen and we're already looking at a liver tumor and it's most likely in the kidney. This dog would probably wake up, if it did wake up at all, with uh, a very short and probably painful lifespan. The, uh, the kidney enzymes all look pretty good, okay? Uh, and we know that we're probably, because our Cushing's could have a possible renal tumor, so one of these could easily be, you know, that in itself, but that's humongous. And I just can't get it exteriorized, which tells me it most likely is kidney. Alright, there's that.